Disney Cruise Line has invented this thing for dinner called rotational dining. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what it means for you and your vacation. Hey Disney Cruisers! I'm Ashley. Today I'm going to talk to you all about dinner because dinner is delicious and probably 60% of the reason I like going on Disney Cruise Line is because of the food. I love it. It's so good. Some people say like, oh, you know, it's just okay food. It's cruise food. No, it's not. It's delicious. It's so good. There are three main restaurants, main dining rooms on each ship and you simply rotate through them, hence rotational dining. You rotate through them for the duration of your cruise. So if you go on a three night cruise, you go into one restaurant each night. If you go on a four night cruise, you go to all three restaurants and then you go back to another one and it's usually pirate night that you double up on so you don't miss a menu. And then for longer cruises, you just simply keep rotating through. The order isn't like one, two, three, one, two, three, like you don't keep going, like it, it kind of gets mixed up. And the way you know the order of your restaurants is on your key to the world card. And it's labeled right there on your card and it's in capital letters and each letter stands for a restaurant. So animator's palette means A. And if there's a T on your card, it's T on its place. So Disney already has it all laid out for you. You just have to show up. On your card, it'll also tell you your time for dinner. Make sure you show up on time to dinner. Don't show up super early. I mean, you can, but they're still cleaning and getting everything ready for you. So the doors are shut and you'll just stand there in the hallway. So get there probably like five minutes early. I don't know. And then don't be late because if you're late, it kind of throws off the whole like wait staff sort of timing. And if you have table mates, then your wait staff will be like waiting for you to sit down with your table mates. Um, it's just good to arrive at your dinner time. Each time you go, there is a main menu for that dining room, that restaurant. But then also if you're there multiple times, each time you go, you'll see a new menu. It might be Pirate Night menu, it might be Prince and Princess menu, it might be the Captain's Gala menu or the See You Real Soon menu. But every time you go into the restaurant, it'll be different food. All the food is so good. Like, order whatever you want, because if you want five salads and a dessert, you can have that. If you want one appetizer and two entrees, you can have that. You can have whatever you want. Now, I wouldn't suggest ordering a ton of stuff all at once and, you know, not being able to eat it all. But if you're still hungry, get some more food. I usually order multiple things, um, like two or three entrees and then maybe an appetizer. I don't really order the desserts because I'd rather, you know, I can eat chocolate cake or ice cream at my house. You know, I can't eat sea bass and scallops at my house. So, I try and get the things that I can't get a lot and I eat all of it. When you are at your restaurant, you walk in and there's a line of cast members and they're all so nice, they'll give you a thing to wash your hands, but then you are escorted by a cast member. It could be your waiter, it could be just the next available waiter and they will walk you to your table. Even if it's your third night being in that restaurant and you know where your table is, they still escort you to your table. You will have three people that will be working to make sure your dinner is fabulous. You'll have a main person who is kind of in charge of like 12, 10 something, I don't know, like a small handful of tables. And his job is, or her job is to make sure, um, I've, I said his because we've always had a guy, but kind of to make sure that everything is okay and stuff's coming out in a timely manner. If it, he'll cut your, or she, he'll, he or she will cut your kid's steak if you want it cut. Um, they will take out your shrimp from your shell if you want, but they're the ones that are kind of on top of everything. And then you have two other waiters that will, or waitresses, cast members, that will be at your table. They will take your order. One will be kind of more in charge of making sure your drinks are filled and getting your uh, meals when they come in and getting those organized to be taken to the table. Each restaurant has its own theming. Some have sort of like entertainment type shows. Some do not. Some just are really, really pretty and nice and lovely to be at. If you are at a restaurant that does kind of like an entertainment type show, maybe like Tiana's or Animator's, do know that each night you go in there, it's kind of different and it's not really a big spectacle every single time you go. 
And also, I know some people get very disappointed, but the animation show in Animator's Palette is not on the Dream. So, don't be upset when you walk in there and it doesn't happen. But it's still a really cool experience what happens when you're in Animator's on the Dream anyways. Another sad thing about the Dream probably, you're going to be like, I don't want to go on the Dream! But, um, is you don't get lobster on the Dream either because... That happens at like captain's night or something like that and there is none there's no there's no captain's gala night on the dream so you can't get lobster but lobster is not even my favorite thing like I love the dream I love the sea bass and I love the scallops what's your favorite have you ever been on a Disney cruise post in the comments below tell me what your favorite dish is and I'll tell you if you're right <laughs> I have an opinion and if you haven't been on a Disney cruise, comment below on what your favorite type of food is or what you want to see and I'll let you know if it's on any of the ships and where you can find it. Pirate night is a big thing that happens, but it's only if your ship goes to the Bahamas or the Caribbean. If you don't go down there, then you're not going to have a pirate night because it's pirates in the Caribbean. So you notice I said Caribbean and then I said Caribbean. I swear I say it differently every single time I say it, kind of like pecan and pecan. Like, I don't even know how I would say it because I always stop and it's like, how should I say it? And then I just say something. Like, I seriously don't know how I say that word or Caribbean, Caribbean word. I don't know. Okay. So anyways, pirate night happens when you're down in the Caribbean. <laughs> Look, I can't even say it right. <laughs> I, st I like slurred halfway through. When you're down in those waters, like south of Florida, um, you'll have a pirate night and that'll be a pirate menu. When it's pirate night, all the restaurants have the same exact menu so it doesn't really matter what restaurant you're in for pirate night because you're all eating the same exact thing some people like to go to palo or remy on pirate night menu because it might not be their favorite menu um so sometimes people take advantage of that sometimes there's a pirate buffet late at night i walked up there one time it was like 11 o'clock and even our head waiter was like make sure you come to the buffet later well, I was already, like, I was still full from dinner because we had, we got done eating at like 9.45. Um, but they had like tacos and turkey legs. So I walked in there just to see it and then I left. But sometimes that is available. We usually pick the late dining because our kids are a little bit older and it also, we want them to be able to stay up later. So it's a good time to kind of give them a nap around 5 o'clock, like 4 to 5 o'clock which is when most people will be getting ready to eat dinner for the first seating. And then also... I care about my kids seeing the shows more than the food, so I want them to be awake for the shows, and if you eat dinner late, then your show is at 6.15. If you eat dinner early, then your show is not until 8 something, so we kind of, I, I chose shows are more important than food, so we always eat later so we can see the shows early. So it's just a preference. Have you been on one? Tell me in the comments what which do you prefer. I've kind of been toying with the idea of trying main seating one of these times but I just haven't done it yet so tell me below pros cons to main seating or late seating you let me know just remember that your food is already paid for in the price of your cruise so make sure you eat it and I know some people don't like going to the main dining rooms and they'll, they're okay with just eating like pizza or chicken fingers on the main deck but I would say go to the main dining room. It is one of the most fun experiences and the people who work in the dining rooms work for tips and it shows. The service is impeccable and it's just a fabulous time. They will do whatever you want them to do. If you like this video because it's all about food then you should definitely check out my secret food video um, that I will link up here and I will link it in the description below. Check that out because there are places on the ship where you can get secret food and can you tell that I cruise for the food? <laughs> like, come on. Why else would you cruise? I mean, it's pretty and stuff and fun, but the food is so good. You just have to go and eat all the food. So thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you love food. And please subscribe to our channel so you can get lots and lots of information. You can see our vlogs. You can just have a fabulous cruise because you will be prepared and you will know what to do. So thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see you next time. Bye, cruisers.